problem six. Let's have a look. Nils is returning empty bottles for a refund. If you didn't know, in Norway, we have this thing where um, there are these machines uh, in grocery stores where when you have a bunch of bottles and cans and stuff that you that you have lying uh, at home, you can take it to the store and you can put it in this machine and you actually get money back for each bottle and uh, each can. So it's a it's one of those really positive things about Norway where, you know, you can um, recycle this. So anyway, he gets 11 kroners for each large bottle and 7 kroner for each small bottles bottle. He receives 100 kroner in total. How many bottles did he return? And then we have an option here, impossible to decide. Whew. Okay, I don't think about this. Hmm. Okay, so we have. Let's let's start by again, you know. Writing down the information that we have given in the problem in our own way. That always gets you started doing something, you know, rather than just staring at the problem, and trying, uh, <laughs> hoping that some um, genius thought is going to come to you. So there are small bottles and big bottles. We have that here small bottles and large bottles and they cost different or he gets different amount of money back so let's say that uh, small bottles are uh, or large bottles rather are l and small bottles are small s so at uh, the number of that right and the number of small bottles that's going to be s um and they say here that um so if we were to write this information, 11 corners for each large bottle. So let's say 11 large bottles plus seven small bottles. And he receives 100 corners in total. Okay, so you have this one equation with two unknowns. And so I'm not really sure here. What can we do? Well, maybe you're one of those people who can just magically see, you know, by doing some mental arithmetic here, what the answer is going to be. But I'm not one of those people. So I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to try something here and, and see what are the different options for for this. So if if we were to say, let's say that there is um, one large bottle. So let's just Think about the large bottles. Let me take this away, actually. Okay, so large bottles. So if we had, if we create a little table here, perhaps, we had one large bottle. Every large bottle, you get 11 corners back. So that would give you, right, a little table here like this. And then, you know, money, let's say kroners here. Um, that's 11. Okay, what about two? That's two times 11, that's 22. You get the idea, you can write down for all of them. Four, 44, five, 55, six, 66, seven, 77. It happens to be pretty easy to do, right? Because it's 11. Eight would be 88, nine would be 99. Now, do we even need to do 10? No, not really, because it can't even be 99 because it's 100 corners in total. And if it was 99, the small bottles would only be one, which is not the case. But now we have all of the options up from one to nine. Okay, let's do the same thing for the small bottles. So for small bottle, uh, if I were to make another thing here, and then of course the kroners that you're getting back like this um let's do for one uh, be seven this might be a little bit tougher uh for two that's going to be 14. three is going to be how much uh 21. four is going to be 28. five is going to be uh two and 35. then you have six which is going to be uh, 42 
7 is going to be 49. 8 is going to be 50, um, 56. And 9 is going to be uh, 63. And then 10 is going to be 70. And then 11 is going to be 77. And then 12 is going to be 84. 13 is going to be 91. 14 is going to be 98. Now again, we've reached such a high number, we don't really need to keep going. We could have actually stopped already before this, but now we have kind of the options for all of these uh, two. Now, what is it that we are looking for? Well, the, the kind of equation that we have to solve here is 11 large plus seven small must be equal to 100. And so, and how many bottles did he return? Which means that um, um, how much is how much is uh, L oops, L plus S basically, right? All the large bottles and all the small uh, bottles. That's going to be the final answer. All right. So what we're looking for is which L do we have to choose? You know, from from these options that together with these options are going to be equal to 100. Let's see if we can find something. 11. So 11, then I'm looking for uh, 89. Is there any 89 there? Nope, nothing. 22, then I'm looking for a 78. Any 78? Close. 77, not 78. 33, then I'm looking for a 67, right? Nope. Closest we have is 63. So there can't be that. 44. 44, I'm looking for a 56. 56. Hey, we got a 56. That one works. So if we were to do this one and this one, if you had 11 times 4 plus 7 times 8, that turns out does equal to 100. And there you go. You got one pair where this works. Now, question is, are there more than one? Let's see. 55, what are we looking for then? Then we're looking for a 46. 46? Not 46, 45 I meant, sorry about that. 45, no 45 here. 66, then we're looking for a um, 34. 34, nope, 35, pretty close, not 34. 77 doesn't work, 88 doesn't work, 99 doesn't work. These are the only options, which means that the final answer, of course, would be 4 plus 8, which is 12, which means that C is the correct answer.